So first of all, it's to recognize and accept the fact that it is a struggle. It's not easy for, uh, for us. Um, and the thing is, the reason why it's, it's so difficult is because we're the first generation going through it. You know, I was just talking to, to, to my friend yesterday and, you know, and I said to him, you know, for my parents, it seemed like it was easier because, you know, yeah, they raised us, you know, they, they provided for us. They were amazing parents. But, you know, in the afternoon, I would go out and play with friends. And that was fine. You know, I would play soccer and hide and seek and, and you know, go to friends' place and they would come to our place. And, um, you know, it was basically, you know, do whatever. And, you know, that's how I learned empathy and that's how I learned uh, uh, how, to, um, uh, how to negotiate and, and resolve conflict and, and such important life skills. You don't develop those life skills when you're on social media. You don't develop it when you're playing video games. Some of it you do, but most of it you don't. Another very troubling study um, is about the levels of empathy among, among the young generation. They've gone down, and, and again, as a result of too much time on the screen, not enough time playing in the sandbox together. So um, um, today we're making it up as we go along. And, um, and, and it is very... So, so first of all, as parents, you know, to be easier on ourselves. Um, first thing. Second, um, just to put boundaries. And, you know, the boundaries have to be whether it's around X number of hours in front of the screen. And there are more and more programs today that can limit screen time, you know, from within uh, the smartphone. So utilize those. Um, and um, another thing, and, and this, uh, I owe this to my... Uh, uh, to my brother-in-law, um, you know, when I talked to him about it, and he said, "Wow, you know, you sound like the, you know, the prophet of doom. You're a happiness professor. Come on." And 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 then he said, "You know, instead, the way I think about it, instead of 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 thinking about it in, in terms of what they don't do, think about what they do do. In other words, create alternatives. And what that means um, is that we need to put more time. So okay, so they won't be on the screen, but what will they do instead? Will they play, you know, ball with their friends, great, if possible, more challenging now uh, in times of Corona. Um, but maybe play a board game with their family and that means with you too. And that means we can't use the screen as a babysitter. Uh, we just need to become uh, more involved. And, um, and um, you know, the nice thing about it is that as we become more involved, we also uh, potentially find uh, treasures of happiness. The number one predictor of happiness is quality time we spend with people we care about and who care about us. And many of us have forgotten that. It is an incredibly important thing to remember. And when I look into the future, knowing that the next generation has less, less empathy, it terrifies me because I know how much and how important empathy has been for us to create what we have created for ourselves. So it makes me a bit nervous. In fact, uh, every time our producer gets a, uh, somebody else who wants to send books, I always make sure that I get a physical copy because I'm so tired. I stare at my screen enough. And to be able to close my computer and go on the porch with a with a coffee and, and open a book, it is. I I look forward to those moments in in my day. Just talk about an island of sanity and serenity, and and for myself, who grew up as as Gen X, normalcy. You know, the, having the computer open is 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 a work thing where kids now it's it's a mishmash of that's where they play that is where they're going to be working that's where they study uh that's in that's in, incredibly it seems to me to be to be messy with all of those things connected to the same mechanism